We get back to the business then of the Vanarama National League. The FA Cup has bore fruit for both of these two sides seven days ago. But after a frustrating result for Rochdale in their last outing in the division, throwing away a 2-0 lead against struggling Ebbsfleet, there is the opportunity to get back down to winning games in the Vanarama National League and put pressure on some of the higher-ups in the hierarchy of this division. For Southend United, it's two straight defeats in the league coming into this one for the last cast victory against Eastleigh has perhaps just buoyed this team enough for a difficult away trip under the lights tonight to maybe think about salvaging more than just a point when it comes to this evening's encounter. I certainly think Sam Beckwith would be a touch disgruntled if that was given against him considering it ricocheted into the arm as Peppel gets going and coming the right way and it's steered behind by Beckwith behind for a corner. Yeah, again, Pebble making himself busy, getting himself in a good position. Again, out here on that left-hand side, he's working that channel really well. Puts the ball in, looking for his, for his strike partner, Josh Walker, and he's cleared away from Beckwith, but South End. And Taryn just pulls him back, gets a yellow card and rightly so. Plenty up for the set piece. Keeper's going to have to come and doesn't get there, and it's not in wide of the target. Almost a sea of woes for David Robinson, who committed to getting to that and barely got a touch on it. It's Nathan Ralph who was providing the glancing header and was just glanced wide of the mark. Well, it's a fantastic ball and you see the goalkeeper comes out, but he's nowhere near it. Nathan Ralph just rises above everyone, gets a flick on it and he'll feel that he should have scored there. Anything on target and that's one nil to South End. Too predictable. Mitchell trying the nod down. He's able to find Berger who takes up that position. Now East gives it across by a boot. Sent it in with Venom, but there's nobody on the end of it. Alarakia was just arriving at the opposite flank, but couldn't get there in time for a wonderfully driven in ball by the 21-year-old. Well, they worked it really well, got it out to Bayabu. His delivery just wasn't right. You know, that's the one where you just need to whip that, keep that low, allow the players to be able to go on and, and meet it. Unfortunately, he just gets the technique all wrong. And Not right here on the end of the Francis and Garno punch, that's for sure. Nor a Ferreira one either. Drilled in towards that near post, the first opportunity for Cairo Mitchell to put himself in a threatening position, and it's behind for a corner. Well, that's a bad delivery. That's the one I'm talking about. Get it whipped in, allow Cairo Mitchell something to be able to go and attack. Going to be on the other flank now for that second period <laughs> when we get back underway after the half-time break, a half-time break that is pretty imminent right now. Morton wanted it on the edge of the area. That's not a bad ball all the way across. Turned back across goal by Nathan Ralph. And surely it's going to be tucked in. And right at the death of the first half, Josh Walker says thank you very much. Capitalises on the pandemonium inside the 18-yard box. And Southend United's persistency pays off. And they have the breakthrough right on the stroke of half-time. And even the most positive man, Jim McNulty, will be hard to find a positive from the defending of that scenario. Josh Walker gets a stroke of luck with a finish, but it comes from a fantastic ball put in. Peppel just... If the ball's put back in, I think it's Nathan Ralph just puts it back in. Josh Walker has a swipe at it, and I think because he miskicks it, it just allows the whole goal to open up, and then he makes no mistake with a, with a finish, rolls it into an empty net, but it was a fantastic crossfield pass in behind the defence of Rochdale. And Nathan Ralph does brilliant. When we talk about the home of the NFL on the zone as well, she's often featured on their broadcast. Might as well put her in the Panorama National League as well. Alarakia in the meantime, firing one towards that near post and just trying to catch the Cameroonian goalkeeper off guard, but it's well beaten away. It's the best moment, though, for Terran Alarakia so far in this game. Yeah, good work from Alarakia. He just gets his man faced up, a little shimmy past Ralph, and hits a really good shot. Say, goalkeeper does really well. Ralph inside the area. Another chance again, though, for East to provide. Everybody waiting for that ball in, and it's pinged up by Hogan and straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Just couldn't quite make the contact, perhaps, that Leon Hogan wanted to. And it's a grateful goalkeeper that grasps that one out of the air. Well, again, fantastic delivery into the box. Liam Hogan just trying to get there, but I think Wind just gets ahead of him and gets it back into the safe hands of his goalkeeper. But like we said... Up 
alongside Mitchell to try and support East. Mitchell can't turn. Bayabu picks it up. It's cleared away, but behind for another corner. That's unlucky. You can see what Bayabu's trying to do there. Taylor just gets himself in a brilliant position, able to cut it out just before it can reach Mitchell, but good intention. The needle instead. Just couldn't guide it into Berger's path, but he checks back and keeps possession. East again. Shifts it out wide. Alarakia. Might fancy the shot himself. He does, and it's well tipped away. Bayabu. Berger. Finally a threat from the Dale here. Back with the youngster. Wind stands his ground very well. Well, again, it's out on that right-hand side with Alarakia, who's the one who looks more the most danger for, for Rochdale. Cuts inside this time on it. Last hurrah forward. It has to go long. It's got to go forward. They've got to get the blue shirts forward here, Rochdale. Up towards Mitchell. Trying to hold off his marker. Trying to keep possession. Can't do so. And time runs out for Rochdale. What a 150th game in charge for Kevin Mayer. What a way to celebrate three years in charge for Kevin Mayer. And what a happy birthday week indeed for the 48-year-old. Three points in the bag on the road against high-flying Rochdale. A result that few foresaw coming for Southend United. But perhaps their revival in the Vanarama National League is starting. Thanks to the strike from Josh Walker just before half-time as he missed his first effort and tucked away the second opportunity with not a single defender around him and really from Rochdale it was a bit of a dead rubber in terms of their attacking progress for the remainder of the 90. Very little in terms of a response and very solid from Southend defensively something we haven't said too often about the Shrimpers this season as it finishes here at the Crown Oil Arena. Rochdale nil, Southend United 1.